Hi, and welcome to EVs Enhanced. Today we have some very exciting news to share with you, but before we get to that, we'd like to talk to you about our favourite EV, the Nissan Leaf. The Nissan Leaf was a pioneer in the EV movement back when it was released over 10 years ago. Here's what some of our team have to say about this car. The Leaf has proven itself to be highly reliable in general. Most people appreciate that EVs are far less mechanically complex than their ICE counterparts, which leads to that increased reliability. It's not surprising, however, that other automotive manufacturers who have got far less experience building EVs over the last 10 years are producing vehicles that are sometimes not quite as reliable as they should be. Gradual battery capacity loss over time aside, Nissan have done an exceptional job in producing a vehicle that is both reliable and straightforward to work on. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that if you're going to buy an EV that's outside of warranty, there really isn't a better option than the Nissan Leaf. I like the Leaf because it offers the typical smooth and direct EV driving experience without attracting any unwanted attention. Another benefit of the Leaf is that used examples typically represent fantastic value for money, particularly if a battery replacement is economically and logistically available in the future. As Barry pointed out, the Nissan Leaf has been a very reliable car in general. In most cases, the car far outlasts the battery it was shipped with. As of 2021, there are over 13,000 Nissan Leafs on New Zealand roads, with around half of those being over seven years old. Unfortunately, Nissan New Zealand effectively don't offer replacement battery packs. This is not only true in New Zealand, but also in many other world markets as well. While we at EVs Enhance have worked hard to develop the tools used for fitting later model batteries into earlier model Leafs, the severely limited supply of good second-hand batteries means we just can't keep up with demand. We understand just how frustrating it is for our customers. To date, there has been no viable aftermarket solution available to us here in New Zealand, and importing battery packs is not particularly practical at this point in time. This is due to the demand for secondhand battery packs being equally as high in other parts of the world. It is widely agreed that for any viable aftermarket solution, it needs to be designed and built to the absolute highest standard. When the LEAF first began production way back in 2010, batteries were expensive at over 1,000 US dollars per kilowatt hour. At the time, 24 kilowatt hours seemed like a huge capacity, and achieving the best possible utilisation of space clearly wasn't a top priority. Fast forward a couple of years, and to avoid costly retooling for the 30 and 40 kilowatt hour variants, Nissan stuck with the same inefficient module layout. It wasn't until the latest 62 kilowatt hour packs that Nissan deviated from this layout at all. While it did better utilise the space within the pack, the design itself was still highly compromised. In addition to this, Nissan never included any type of battery cooling system for the LEAF, a choice that has been widely criticised. Over the years there have been several attempts to produce aftermarket batteries using the stock battery layout and refitting them with aftermarket high density cells. This is a problematic approach for several reasons. Firstly, this limits the design to the original inefficient layout used by Nissan way back in 2010. To reach a desirably high capacity with such poor space utilisation requires very high energy density cells, which with current battery technology tends to sacrifice both long term reliability and safety. Another major issue arising from this approach is the severe limitations of the factory BMS hardware. Using a battery management system that is highly optimised for the original cells with completely different aftermarket cells compromises both driver's experience and safety. It also limits the chemistry that can be used within the aftermarket battery. Following the lead of our friends at Blue Cars, also based here in New Zealand, and Enigo over in Europe, who have both created custom leaf battery packs using completely different layouts from the original design, what is the best possible solution? With that, 
I am proud to introduce the 16 blade replacement battery platform for the Nissan LEAF. 16 blade has been created by EVs Enhanced from the ground up. Designed with the optimal module layout within the confines of the original battery pack enclosure, 16 blade uses a highly advanced active thermal management system and is compatible with a wide range of current cell chemistries such as NMC, NCA and even LFP. 16 blade is more than just a battery. It is an entire battery platform designed for the Nissan LEAF with several proposed variants including green for maximum lifespan and safety, blue for maximum capacity and range up to 74 kilowatt hour and 500 kilometers and red for maximum performance up to 700 kilowatt with dual motor setups. Our first battery to be released on the 16 blade platform will be the green variant using lithium ion phosphate cells also known as LFP. Why have we chosen LFP? Compared to nickel based chemistries such as NMC or NCA, LFP typically enjoys a much higher cycle life while posing a much lower safety risk making it ideal for the everyday commuter or high cycle workhorse. The lower energy density of LFP does make it less suitable for those looking for the highest single charge range. For these customers, future variants of 16 blades such as the blue variant will be better suited. In saying that, thanks to our advanced cooling system, 16 blade green has been designed for an excellent DC fast charging experience. Leafs fitted with 16 blade will be able to be driven on substantial cross country journeys supported by DC charging networks without the need to worry about overheating the battery. Another property of LFP cells is the different operating voltage compared to Nissan's original cells. This means that the original Nissan BMS or battery management system hardware was never going to be an option for 16 blade green. Thankfully, our years of engineering experience in this field has allowed us to develop a completely custom BMS solution which still integrates seamlessly with the LEAF's existing systems. The LEAF was quite ahead of its time having bi-directional charging capabilities that we are only just starting to see in the latest EVs being released today. However, with the original battery, this capability was rarely used. Adding a large number of additional battery cycles and wearing the battery out faster was a valid concern. However, with the 16 blade green, we expect the battery to significantly outlast the vehicle. This makes vehicle to home systems far more appealing. We're excited about our project, but we'd love to hear what you think. So please leave your comments below. Right now, we're not accepting pre-orders or releasing information on pricing or release dates in various markets. But this information will be coming soon. At that time, we will be accepting pre-orders and we'd love to see 16 Blade make its way into as many markets as possible. As Sam mentioned, we feel that it's very important that any aftermarket battery solution is really well engineered and manufactured. And that's exactly what our team is working really hard on right now. We've only released this information now to give existing and prospective leaf owners some uh, interesting and positive news in what has otherwise been a less than positive year. And for those of you interested in keeping up to date with the 16 blade, we have a mailing list on our website and we will add a link for that in the description below. So the leaf is already a great car. And with 16 Blade, we look forward to seeing it reach its true potential. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you all again in the new year. Right now, we're not accepting any pre-orders or uh, pre-orders. <laughs>